Hello everyone and welcome to another Hobonichi Weeks setup in my Hobonichi Weeks on my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're coming back, then thank you. I really appreciate it. And as you can see, this video still has that same filming location as the two previous Hobonichi Weeks videos I made because I am filming them one after the other in my hotel room on a work trip to take advantage of the silence without kids and everything. I am sorry if you can hear the neighbor's TV in the background. Nothing I can do about that, sadly. And like I said in my last video, if you see, saw that, if you didn't, feel free to go watch it if you like. I am going with a Harry Potter theme for the month of September in here. So we are up to week 36. It's the second week of September. And last week I did Gryffindor. And this week I am doing Gryffindor. No, I'm sorry. Last week I did Gryffindor. This week I'm doing Slytherin because that is... The next clockwise house on the Hogwarts crest. I am using the cute, very cute Harry Potter inspired house color washi from the honeybee shop as well as some bits and bobs from my own shop. I do not make Harry Potter or any other trademark things in my shop but I I've pulled together some bits and pieces from other shops to make this theme work. So let's get right into this. And I think I'm going to, like last time, outline at least the bottom with a green marker. This doesn't look very green on the camera, but it is green. Just to help this help cover some of this writing down here because the washi won't cover the whole thing so I am going to color it in with this and then put the washi over it I am aware that the colors don't exactly match completely but that is just my choice I could probably find the green that matches the washi tape better and everything if I had my entire planner stash with me, but I don't. I did try to pick some things for my travel kit before leaving for this work trip, but I didn't really match everything. I didn't plan everything out entirely beforehand, so it's a mix of planning on it, on doing something and whatever I do have in my kit and maybe I'll do a quick show of some of this kit or what I put in my travel gear what I usually do when I go traveling for my work trips because it varies a little bit on how long I'm gone for. This time I'm gone for an entire work week so I have a lot. If I'm going just on a short trip then I have less. If I'm going just for the night I probably just bring maybe even just this Hobonichi Weeks with me because it is my catch-all and my future planning and notes on the go and stuff all into one. And one of these days I might also do like a walkthrough of my setup with all my planners because there are a lot. But yeah, I'm, I brought the washi on just these little cute washi cards I made myself. I 
just cut them, cut the word washi out with my cutting machine and laminated them. And I made a couple of them. So this one says washi. This one has a design inside, so it's revealed when I take the washi off. And I have this other one that says study with some other cute washi on it for something else. And I really love using washi cards like this because it's very, very practical when you're bringing things with you to be able to put it all in one place. This small strip, they came, uh, all the small strips came in a pack together and the other, the house colors, I think you can get the pack, but I got them individually. And this, like this small or skinny washi strip is perforated. Let me just zoom you out a little bit more so you can see the whole notebook or whole planner. I'm sorry, I'm not sure exactly when the camera cut out, but I just put down these thin washi strips up here. And I'm not quite sure what I want to do for the date side. Because I uh, last week I took this washi and just cut cut it up to use the little jars to mark like the, to decorate the date spaces. And I'm just trying to see if I have some leftover strips from kit or something I could use for that part that would match but I don't have anything that's green so I think I'll just I think I'll leave like this one without color on it and just stick the stickers onto it is what I'm thinking of trying out this time or maybe I'll color it green nah I'll just go with the stickers let's see if I can find where I put my tweezers here they are yeah this will work Monday Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, no wait, I did this last time too, because I am using Norwegian names so it's the Norwegian letter and then I am speaking English so I said it in English so I almost did the same exact mistake again and this is the sixth and I will be using this hollow date dots so we have the sixth. I'm totally mixing my metals here, but that will just have to be that way. I don't mind really. I think it's cute. So seven. Eight. Nine. 
Um, and 12 and you will notice that I since I don't have like a specific Harry Potter kit I've just pulled this together like a theme so I'm going by the colors of the houses but I'm not putting in like specific decoration for their animal or that kind of thing for this I'm just going with like Something that kind of fits, but doesn't exactly fit. So Gryffindor got the dragon. And let's see if I can find one of the owl to do. So a silver one. Yeah, I got a silver one. Here. This is, of course, one of my slightly failed foils. That I'm using for this so it's not representative of the foil in my shop. I just want that to put there because I usually take the let's call them failed ones or slightly flawed ones and use them in my own planner because I hate the waste of not using them. So let's put a green line here like that and I don't really do that much more dividing up of the page than this line I've found that that's what works for me for now and I like to keep it the way I'm used to or like functional what works for me I'm going with what works for me and I am going to put some I think maybe I'll put an owl or something in this one I have these cute owl stickers from the Watsurama shop with it which is a Norwegian shop on Etsy and I really love her stuff she's really good and I am going to take this cute grey one down here. Ouch. I just stuck myself with the tweezers. I'll take this cute grey one and I think I'll put it over here. I like my deco like over in this corner because then it doesn't get in the way that much. And the washi had a line, probably a division in the design repeating or something. So I'm just gonna put this here. I like it there anyway. I think it's in the same spot as last week's. And I don't think I'm going to be doing that much more decorating as you probably noticed for most of my Kimichi Weeks videos I like the kind of minimal look deco wise yeah I'll put this one down here and then I'll keep it like that because I am um, I'm do it this minimal because I some weeks are really busy and September is like this is the second week of September and the kids are going going to start getting a lot more like homework and that kind of thing and a lot more busy in school and I have some school stuff of my own and some work stuff and my daughter is in kindergarten and my boyfriend is working again so there's gonna be like a lot of stuff going on in this spread in the week in this week so I'm going to be going over and doing the deco after oh this this shows up really blue Can you see that on the camera I love how the hollow just catches light like that it's just so pretty but yeah so this is the very minimal very low deco spread for this week 
I know I did some more decorations like in July and uh, around those summer weeks when we didn't have as much going on but now like school is back on and everything we definitely do have more stuff going on so I'll I'm going a little bit more minimal for this period of time and we'll see how the year progresses like maybe closer to like Halloween or Christmas or whatever we'll be seeing a little bit more decoration in here again or not we'll see how this goes this is my first year in the Hobonichi weeks so I'm kind of testing it out and playing around with what I want and what I like and that kind of thing so yeah this is my spread if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if this is your your kind of thing to watch this kind of setting up and some other planner stuff. I do a lot of different things here on my channel, so stick around if you want to hang with me some more. Thank you so much for watching this video and taking time out of your day to hang out, out with me for a while. And I hopefully uh, will see you next time. Goodbye!